Chicago police are looking for a driver who sped away from a deadly motorcycle crash on the Kennedy Expressway. 27 year old Kevin Nitsch died in that crash. Now his community is mourning and remembering him for his generosity. WGN's Rob Sneed is live outside the Royal Clippers Barbershop in Hanover Park with more. Yeah, today I found out Nitch, he touched so many lives. So many people are coming here, many coming in and out of the barbershop all day today here in Hanover, Royal Clippers Barbershop. You can see some of them convening right now, uh, many embracing each other, crying, remembering a man who's touched so many lives. He was only 27 years old, but he will remember it as someone who gave second chances. And many said that he gave his money, his time, his wisdom to folks to stay on the straight and narrow. Folks inside of the shop found it hard to hold back tears. Today, all that sits in Kevin Nitch's Chair is a trophy he won for cutting hair. Nitch owns a Royal Clippers Barbershop, but now it's silent and all of these stylists are now mourning his death. Illinois State Police say the 27 year old was killed on I 90 at Addison Street in Irving Park on the northwest side. Authorities say the business owner lost control of his motorcycle and crashed into another vehicle. Nitch was thrown from his bike and landed in a ditch. EMS transported him to the hospital where he later died. The driver of the other vehicle involved did not stop, according to police. And right now, friends and family are coming together to help raise money to help with his funeral services through a GoFundMe page. They say that uh, that's the least they can do for a man who spent his entire life giving back to others. The way he talks. He used to motivate me every morning, every day. And uh, when I was down, he used to lift me up. I just want to give him a hug. Just, that's, that's it. There's a lot of stuff to say. I'm sorry. And coming up on WGN News at 6, hear from others who knew him and the impact he's had on others' lives and the community. Reporting live in Hanover Park, Rob Sneed, WGN News.